do you want to tell me what it was like when you rode in the rodeo? Well, it was just, you know, I was pretty young. Uh, and actually, my, my little brothers were taken to the rodeo with me. And, and I can remember we were put on large black Angus yearlings that then were, uh, you know, turned loose. And they bucked like hell. I can remember that. I rode first. I rode before my little brothers did. And uh, I rapidly realized he bucked like hell. So you're supposed to hold on with one hand, right? So I had my right hand under a rope, and that rope was very tight. I lashed it down to your hand. I held on extremely tightly. And uh, then I could feel, you know, the thing was almost going to fuck me off. So I got pissed off, and I, you know, I actually reached out and grabbed my wrist. So I was actually holding on with both arms, fortunately, and, you know, but not cheating by grabbing the rope with the other hand. It was too tight to grab anyway. Uh, I did manage to stay on for the entire ride and, and uh, rode out the bell. And, uh, you know, I think I got a belt buckle or something for that. Uh, Mark, on the other hand, he got a spinner. Uh, the, the spinners, <laughs> oh, no. you know, go around. The, oh, yeah. Uh, I mean, Mark just got thrown for a loop. He got, you know, all the way up in the air and just kaboom right down on the ground. Uh, he was lucky they didn't haul him away in a stretcher. I think one of the one of the teenagers that was riding that day did get hauled away in a stretcher. But Mark was only 12 uh, no, he was a year younger than I was. He was 11 years old at the time. Langan must have talked them into putting us on those animals because, and Jeffrey just totally, he was 10 years old and he just started crying when he saw, <laughs> when, he, when he saw these animals. So, you know, and I mean, I, I never held it against him because, you know, if I'd been 10 years old, I must have crying too, so. Were you frightened? I mean, you must have been scared. Well, you can't get too scared because you've got an arena full of people. I mean, there were like several hundred people. So you don't want to display too much fear. But, you know, I can't say. And we had been bucked off plenty of horses. So it's, you know, but we'd never been on, a, on an actual bull or, or a steer before. So that was a, introduced an aspect of novelty, which was a little bit terrifying in a way. But nevertheless, we managed to tough our way through it. <laughs> 